Like it? Something I wrote myself. Yeah, rather reminiscent of Wagner. Wagner? Yes. The prelude from Tristan and Isolde. Uh, you know. Oh, yes, but in my... Look. Uh, uh, do you mind? No, no, no. Come right in. Come on. can do just the same. Not today, Phil. Tomorrow? I want you to be sure that he leaves before Mr. Gibson goes there. Well, I don't know, Miss Gibson. You know Mr. Paul. Phil, I want him out of this house before Mr. Gibson returns. Do you understand? Yes, Mrs. Gibson. You going down the back way? Yes. Don't do anything to hurt his feelings. come back with my daughter yet? Uh, no, sir. Uh, that'll be all, sir. Yes, that'll be all. Oh, here. Yeah. Ah, Mr. Gibson. <laughs> I, uh, I guess that's uh, quite a surprise seeing me again. Eh? Yes, quite a surprise. You, you've you been abroad, haven't you? Yes. Yes, since uh, just before your wedding. Yes, I remember. Uh, just uh, a year ago. Yes, Mrs. Gibson and I were married on the 13th. Yeah, yeah, that was a Friday, wasn't it? Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Lockridge? Oh, no. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gibson. No, I, um, I just happened to be passing, and I, uh, I thought I'd, uh, drop in and say hello to Peggy. She'll be very disappointed. Oh, yes, I, I know she will. Yeah, well, you, uh, will you just tell Peggy that I called? Certainly. Good day, Mr. Lockridge. Oh, good day, Gibson. See, we're going to have a lot of fun. Every time I think of you being my mother, I have to laugh. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I got a great kick out of your marrying father. I'm crazy to go on the stage myself. Well, it's a lot of fun if, if you don't have to do it. But it's awful when you're broke. Oh, Lordy, it's good to be back in New York. I'm sick of power. 
Haven't the school any fun? No, they won't let you do anything. Do you mind if I smoke? Well, now, daughter. Have a nice closing. Oh, terrible. No men on board at all. Oh. Lord, it's good to be back. <laughs> what a shot you got here, Dad. Oh, just something to keep the rain on. <laughs> I like her. Say, I'm starved. When's luncheon? Half past one. Promptly. Mind if I run upstairs and wash my neck? I've got most of my bell phones on it. <laughs> run on this. That must be quite a convent she goes to. Yes, quiet. I like her. I'm awfully glad. I I want you to keep an eye on her. Oh, why? Peggy, there's something that I want to tell you. A young man called to see you this morning. Oh, yes? Yes. Now, Peggy, I, I haven't minded your seeing certain of the people that you used to know in your less fortunate days. Oh, well... Uh... Yes, you've been very kind. I trust you, Peggy. But I'd rather that this young man did not come to the house. Hello, Peggy. Gee, I'm glad to see you. I just happened to see you arrive. Good afternoon, Mr. Gibson. Hello, Paul. Well, Peggy, isn't this wonderful? How are you? Uh, very well, thank you. Yeah. I, I just got in last uh, Friday. Uh, weren't you going to ask me? Oh, oh yes. I came over third class. Uh, do, you, do you ever travel third class, Mr. Gibson? Oh, I've never had that pleasure. Well, this is really it's the only way to travel. I mean, so many stuffy people travel first class. Thankers. And... Well, I mean, not, not thankers like yourself, Mr. Gibson. But, I see. Uh, uh, how's your music, Paul? Oh, it's grand. You remember the trouble I was having with the second movement of my symphony? It is the first movement. You know, the part where the trumpet came in. Ta -ra -ta 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 oh, yeah, well, I, well, I just, I just fixed it. I went... But I'm at the part that went... I wonder if you'd mind. Not at all, not at all. I'll play the whole thing for you. Music. Oh, this is Mr. Lockridge, my stepdaughter. Miss Gibson. You're what? Uh-huh. What a fresh guy. Say, do you know Ray? 